Hello, this is Brian Buffington with Pioneer Risa, and I want to show you how to uh, create a Google document and make it so it's easy for students to, um, to access it online and therefore they don't have to type a lot of hyperlinks in there and you as a teacher can create a document in which they can access hyperlinks and move pretty quickly. Uh, for one, you'll need a, a Gmail account. You can go to gmail.com and sign up for account and if you do that, uh, log in. And Gmail or uh, Google Docs just change the look of their um, their Google Documents, and I could use the classic look, uh, but know that they pretty much do the same thing. And if yours didn't automatically go to Documents, uh, you look at the top and look for Documents, or maybe under More. All right, so let's create a document. And you give it a name. Teacher. All right, and so here you would, you know, give the assignment. Please visit following sites, and you would write, I don't know, weather.com, studying weather. It automatically makes it a, a link itself, or you know, you just type in something like, you know, please visit um, a really cool site. And you can just highlight it and I think you can right click it. Yeah, right click, and go to link, type in the URL that you want that to go to. And I could say a really cool link would be mm, twitter.com slash pioneer visa tech. Okay. All right, so it made it a link to, and that's a link. All right, very cool. So, you know, as a teacher, we want students to be able to get to this document by typing in one address. Um, however, if there, there's no way we want we want them to type in this long, huge, probably 50 plus character URL. So, what we're going to do is we're going to highlight, copy that. Well, I'll tell you what. Before we do that, we need to make sure this is public or, or um, public by link. So, you need to come up here to share. And right now you see it's only it's private to only me, so I'm gonna click share. And here at top, I can change the private settings. And I'm gonna let anyone with a link um, access this. So it's not gonna be public on the web where people just find it through a search engine. It's anyone with the link. So if you give the link to somebody, they're they're gonna be able to get to it. All right. So I'm going to save it. So now I need to take this address. Which is the same one in the URL bar too up here. I'm gonna copy it. And now we need to shorten that thing. So let's go, let's open up a new tab. And you're still logged into your Gmail account or documents. I want you to go to goo.gl, which is Google's URL shortener. And this is really neat. It takes your long URL, you paste it in there. Remember that long one we just we got? We're gonna shorten it, hit the shorten button. And there we go. It is now this one instead of this long one. So I'm going to copy and paste this. So I copied it. Go back to my document up here. And I'll put it like an asterisk say go to to visit document. All right. So a student will all they have to do is actually go to this website, type it in, and they would access the document that you're looking at right now. And therefore, you have a live hyperlinked document, and it can make your life easier, especially for early, early grades in which students have a hard time typing in many hyperlinks. All right, hope this is helpful, and just let me know if you need any other assistance.